Rob and I moved to Nashville about three and a half years ago. Nashville is a, a great city to live in. There's nothing better than having a bunch of friends come over and really just get to know each other outside work. Laura and I have been married for two years, two months, and two days as of today. Yeah, we realized that today we were married two years, two months, and two days ago. So it's our 2 2, two celebration. Yeah. Anything for a barbecue. Rob's domain is definitely the barbecue. I would much rather make the food, whereas Rob, he's the man. He's out at the barbecue. He's, he's the griller. Rob will light a barbecue, rain or shine. When I found out that I was diabetic, it really wasn't a surprise. I knew something was wrong. Being seven years old and so thirsty that you could hardly think about anything else, I was clinically starting to go into the diabetic-induced coma. After I got to the hospital and some insulin was administered for the first time, I started to wake up that afternoon and that's when life changed for me. At seven, that can be kind of difficult. Things like testing your blood sugar before and after you eat, before you exercise, after you exercise. These are all things that a seven-year-old might not be prepared for, so it was a complete life adjustment for me. Today, Rob and I are going to take a trip to see our doctor, Dr. Jagesha. She'll actually download the results from our glucometers. And she will monitor them and be able to look at and see, ooh, at this time of day, your blood sugars are a little bit higher than, than we would like to see. Is there something that we could do to be helping you? I've been treating Laura and Rob for the last four years, give or take a few months. Laura and Rob are exceptionally motivated and uh, really easy patients to care for because they do such a good job looking after themselves. When they come in, I get a detailed history from them as to what has been different since the time we met last. Um, I also see how they're doing with regards to that, address both high and low blood sugars, talk to them about whether they have had all their screenings uh, done in terms of their eye exams, kidney exams, foot exams, which are all common complications that can arise with poorly controlled diabetes. Turns out you're having more trouble with some lows recently, That's right? Wow. Okay, all right. So tell me a little bit about that. Is it exercise? Is it food? Or? Yeah, recently. We give them the flexibility of being able to eat whatever they would like, measure it and count how many carbohydrates they're taking and dose their insulin appropriately. The most effective way to make insulin work better in the body is exercise. At a minimum of five times a week, I go to Jazzercise. I started back at Jazzercise again about six months ago, and I was a mess. I couldn't do it, and it's only been in this last month that I feel like I'm actually keeping up. It's a workout that really keeps me in condition, and I, I feel it. So it is a real big lifestyle challenge. Physical activity and exercise are very important in helping insulin to work better, those that do well with diabetes are able to really tackle that lifestyle challenge head on. It really keeps my blood sugars under control because I do work out. I have a much higher metabolic rate and I have a better use of any glucose that I do eat. Because of that, my blood sugars are, are always very controlled. I choose to stay healthy and to work out just because I want the insulin that I use 
to be used effectively, and exercise helps that.